You know, maybe you've noticed it if you spent time calling a customer service line recently. More and more companies are turning to artificial intelligence to take those calls. But you could be forgiven if you didn't notice. It's almost impossible to tell that you aren't speaking to a real person. WMER 2 News' Elizabeth Worthington takes a look at the pros and the cons. We've all done it. Shouted customer service representative at the phone until we were finally given the chance to speak to a real live person instead of a robot. But what if those robots could tell when you were getting annoyed and respond accordingly? Well, apparently some already can. They can gauge how the customer is responding like a good human, but not all humans are like this, and try to de-escalate situations where the customer might be upset and that has a lot of promise if humans don't mind being kind of manipulated, you know, by AI to not explode. Hopkins AI professor Anton Deborah says pretty soon calling a business and getting an AI agent on the other line will become as normal as hearing machine tell you to press one for English. And you probably won't even know it's not a real person at first. Are you looking to sell any products? Who am I speaking with? You are speaking with an AI assistant. How can I help you with your diabetic supplies? The benefits to businesses are obvious. It saves them time and money. But whether AI agents will improve the customer experience is still up for debate. The smart companies will keep the human in the loop. I can try to help you with any questions or information you need, but if you prefer, I can have my boss give you a call back. And if you're one of those people who dreads talking on the phone in the first place, there's a world in which you might not ever have to again. Get a glimpse into what your customers are thinking. The technology works both ways. For example, Google already provides a service where an AI assistant will call a restaurant to make a reservation for you. Hey, how may I help you? Hi, um, I'd like to reserve a table for Wednesday the 7th. For seven people? Um, it's for four people. Of course, there's a dark side to all this technology too, when it winds up in the wrong hands. But even without humans using it for nefarious purposes, the technology itself could prove to be just as flawed as we are. AI learns by using data from real-world conversations, biases and prejudices included. Because of all of the training, do you really want an AI agent that learned from all its training data that it should treat women in one way and men in another way, or you know, people with different racial backgrounds, things like that. But Deborah says AI isn't going anywhere. In fact, it's getting more sophisticated every day. So businesses and customers have to adapt with it. In Baltimore, Elizabeth Worthington, WMAR 2 News.